Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install Kubernetes Minikube on RHR 9. Open browser that is Firefox and go to Google then search for Minikube. Click on this Minikube install start. See here the prerequisites to install Minikube are See here, Minikube is a local Kubernetes. Focus on making it easy to learn and develop for Kubernetes. Okay, all we need is Docker. Docker container or virtual machine environment. The prerequisites are two CPUs or more, two GB memory, twenty gigabytes hard disk and internet connection. Containers we can have Docker or any one of these Podman or virtual machine. In my machine, I have already installed Docker. Let's play the Docker version. See, I have installed Docker. If you want to install Docker on your Red Hat Enterprise Linux machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Okay. The next step is we have to install kubectl before installing this mini cube. Open new tab. Again, go to Google, search for kubectl install. Or simply go to kubectl.io. Click on documentation. Then click on tasks. Then click on install tools. Then click on this install and setup kubectl and Linux. See, we have three methods to install kubectl on Linux. First, by using binary native package management and other package management. So we are going to use this install binary with curl. Linux, okay. So before installing, you must have curl on your RH. Check curl version. See, we have curl installed. If you want to install curl, then install by using sudo dnf install curl. This is the command. See, it is saying I have already curl installed. Okay, control it to clear screen. Now run sudo dnf update. See, I have already updated package list. If you want updated, you have to update. Then control it to clear screen. Then go to this Kubernetes site. Then copy this curl command. To download latest release, okay. Paste it. You should give sudo at the start and hit end. Then next, validate the binary. Copy this one. Paste it, use sudo and paste that one. Hit enter. Then, then validate the keyboard CTL binary against the checksum file. Copy this one, paste it and hit enter. See, it is success. See, valid the output is this one. Okay. Now install kubectl by running this command. Copy this one. Hit enter. It is success. Now verify the kubectl version. Copy this one or simply give kubectl version hyphen hyphen client. See, we have installed version 1.29. So we have successfully installed kubectl. Now we will install the mini cube. Go to mini cube. I will give this link in the video description. Go to mini cube official website then see in the installation section we must have to select linux and architecture then release we have beta or stable so you must select stable version then installer type here also we have three methods binary debian is for the ubuntu type and rpm this is for red hat family all three are fine okay i am going with the binary download then copy one by one copy this first line paste it 
you should give sudo then curl and hit enter. It is downloading the mini queue. It is success. Now go to this page. Now install mini queue. Just copy this one. See, it is this is the file name. See here, ls. See, we have the mini cube file and this is the path okay you can give any path but go with standard one copy select entire line and copy then paste it hit enter it is success now start the mini cube cluster mini cube then start See, it is downloading Kubernetes 1.28 and its size is 400 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. Now it is creating Docker container. Notice here the CPU, CPU are 2 and memory is 2.2 gigabytes. In meantime, open new and the terminal verify the miniq version. Miniq hyphen hyphen version. It is version. Just give version and verify. See, we have installed Minikube on dot 32. Okay. See, we have successfully started Minikube. Okay. Let's verify the Minikube step. If you want to stop Minikube, just give Minikube, then stop. This is the command. Not going to stop. See here the examples. See, if you want to deploy applications, these are the examples. Like, if you want to Create a sample deployment and expose to port 8080. Then you have to run these two commands. If you want to get the service information, you have to run this. To manage Minikube, you have to run. Suppose if you want to pause, you have to give this pause command. If you want to unpause, you have to unpause. As I told, this is for to stop. Okay. We have different options. You can practice all these. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to Install and configure Kubernetes Minikube on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Okay. For more Kubernetes videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.